Welcome to Math with Mr. Stocks. In this video, we're going to talk about converting percents greater than 100% or even less than 1%. Uh, percent. So we're going to think about this just as the basics. If we say we had a room that would hold 10 people, okay? So if we put 10 people in that room, that's going to be 100% full. But if we have 15 people, then you think about it, well, that's more than full, so that's going to be 150% compared to the 100% of 10. Just like 5 would only be 50% of the coverage of the room. So then if we have twice as many people as the room can hold, so if we have 20 people, that would give us 200% compared to the, the amount the, the room could hold. So we can use percents that are bigger than 100%. And we can also use ones that are smaller than 1%. So the way we convert these is just the same as it was before, but it looks a little bit different in the process. So if we have 110%, okay, we're still going to put that invisible decimal point there, get rid of the, the percent sign, and we're going to just move it over 2 like we did before. And so my 110% becomes 1.1. All I did is take it, the, the invisible decimal point, and move it over 2 to the left like I did before. But because it's greater than 100% or greater than 1, I'm going to get a decimal with, a, with a, some value in front of the decimal point and after. So 110% is 1.1. Now for a fraction, we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're going to take the percent and put it over 100. So 110 over 100. And then we simplify it. Well, that's going to give us an improper fraction. So we can make it a mixed number. Take 1, 100 out. That leaves us with 10 over 100. And then it gives us 1 and 1 tenth. So we're still doing the same process. To convert a percent to a decimal, we move the decimal point over two places to the left. Or we put it over 100 and simplify. It's just in this case, we end up with a mixed number because of it being more than 100%. Now let's look, take a look at what it is to convert a value that is less than 1%. So if we start with point 0.7%. Now, right now, if you have money in the bank, um, they normally give you an interest rate. So, if let's say if the interest rate was 5%, what would that would mean is if you put $100 in the bank in a year, you would make 5% interest on that. Well, if we put 0.7, if we have 0.7% as our interest rate, if we put $100 in the bank, that means we're going to make 70 cents a year off that hundred dollars but the so that's what that is so there are small amounts and actually 0.7 percent is probably better than most bank accounts most uh, savings accounts are probably running around uh, 0.5 percent to 0.25 percent right now so the way we do this though is going to be exactly the same way we did before it's just going to look different so the decimal we start with 0 0.7 percent and then we're going to move it over to one two and we're going to fill it in. So my decimal version of 0.7% is actually 0 0.007. So we're doing the same thing. It's just going to look way smaller. My fraction, again, we're going to do like we did before. We're going to take the 0.7 and we're going to put it over 100. Except if you remember, we can't have a, frac a decimal in our fraction. So to move the decimal point one place to the right up here, we got to take it times 10 here and take the denominator times 10. So that gives me 7 over 1,000. And then I simplify that if I can. Well, it doesn't look like I can, so 7 over 1,000 is going to be it. So that's going to be my, my fraction. Here are some examples for you to do on your own. I'd like you to pause the video and do these four, convert them to a fraction and decimal, and then hit play and we'll see how you did.
hit pause now. Okay, let's see how you did. So with the first one here, you can put 140 over 100, which will give you 1 and 41 hundredths, which we can then simplify that to 1 and 4 tenths, which then can simplify that to 1 and 2 fifths. There you go. 1 and 2 fifths. On this one, uh, it's, the, it's the decimal. So, oh, and then we got to make this the decimal point, so we're going to move the decimal point over to 1, 2. So that's going to give us 1.4. So there's our decimal, and there's our fraction. Uh, if we're taking this one, 0.75, we convert the decimal point. Uh, we'll do that one first. We move it over two places, 1, 2. So that gives me 0 0.0075. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to put 0 0.75 over 100. So I move it over twice. I'm going to take that times 100 and the denominator times 100. And that's going to give me 75 over, there we go, 75 over 10,000. And I can simplify that. I'm going to divide those by 25. That's going to give me 3 over 400. So there's my decimal of 0 0.0075 and 3 four hundredths. So here we're going to move our decimal point over twice. 1, 2. So that gives me 0 0.0031 is the decimal. And then we'll put it over 100. Times of both by 100, just like we did the example above. 31 over 10,000, and I don't think that can be simplified. And here we'll take, we'll move our invisible decimal point here, 1, 2. So that give us 2.55 for our decimal. And 255 over 100 for the fraction. That will give us 2 and... 55 one hundredths, we'll divide that by 5, which will give us 11 twentieths. There we go. Now we're going to have to go the other way. Uh, one thing, students get confused sometimes of when do I move the decimal point. Well, I just tell them to think about 1. 1 is 100%. So if I'm going from a percent, there's my decimal point there. Well, to get to my 1, I have to move it over two places to the left. So from percent to decimal, I move to the left two. But if I start with one, I know that's a hundred percent, so I gotta move it over two places to the right, fill in with zeros. So when I go from the decimal to percent, I have to move it two places to the right. So if you need this, I've got some paper some students in the past that they would write on the top of their paper uh, this little cheat sheet here to help them remember which way to go when you're going percent to decimal and decimal to percent. Now sometimes we're going to have to convert these into percent. So the best way to do that is to um, just think about it a couple ways. Um, what You could make this an improper fraction. And so we could take 1 times 7 plus 8. And so that will give us or plus 1 times 8 plus 7. And that will give us 15 eighths. And then we could do 15 divided by 8. Well, how many times will that come out? Well, that will come out one time. Raise our decimal point there. 7, bring down the 0. Well, there's 8 there. We got another 0. That's going to be 7 for 56. Another 0. So we got... Alright, so I have 1.875. There's my decimal but then I need to move it over two places so that will give me a hundred eighty seven point five percent so that's one way of doing it another way is just remembering the one goes there and take seven divided by eight which will give you eight point or point eight seven five and then you'd have to move the decimal point over so I did this by moving it to a fraction from a fraction to a decimal and then I did the decimal to the percent. 
Now here's an example where it is a decimal, so then I can just take it, move it over two places, and there we go. So it's going to be 255.7%. When I took, so for one and th over 325, what this is, this is going to be smaller. Okay, so we have, um, we had this one was a mixed number, so we knew it would be bigger than 100%. Well, this one's a very small fraction, so we know it's going to be, or a small amount, so we know it's going to be less than. Okay, I had to create some more room there, so now we're going to take this out. Well, 325 doesn't come out of 10. It doesn't come out of 100, but it can come out of 1,000 three times. So we'll take that and multiply it, so that will give us 975. We subtract that, we subtract 25, and we bring down a zero. Oh, we can't take anything out of there. So we're going to put a zero up here, because 325 isn't going to come out of 250, but we add another zero, and that can come out 7. Okay, And so... I think it was 225, and well, we'll just go one more place. And it looks like we could go on for a very long time here. So we're just going to consider this, uh, the decimal will approximate it to be 0 0.00308. And then to convert it to a decimal, we got to move the per, to a percent. We move the decimal point two places over, so it would be. Um, we're going to move it over two places to the right. So one, two. So it's going to be point three zero eight percent. And this one over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to make it into a decimal. So we put six on the inside. 875 on the outside, raise that decimal point, 0, no, 60 isn't going to work, 600 isn't going to work, there we go, we can take that out 6 times, we subtract here, I'm going to have to go do a bunch of borrowing, 5, okay, 750, Put another zero there, bring that down, eight. Another zero down, uh, that's going to come out five. Okay, and as you see, this is going to keep going, so we will S, and then we've got to move it over two places to the right, so it'll be point six eight five percent so on these smaller ones it's real easy to end up with a, a decimal that keeps going or or does something like that but uh, remember it's smaller than one so it's going to be a real small amount so we got point six eight five percent so these are a lot more work than than converting the the bigger numbers so if you have any questions, please talk to me. Um, I'll gladly help you to understand it, and uh, we'll, we'll get you set on the way. So if there's any questions, uh, just ask me because that's my job.